Hey guys, Kaja here and welcome back to another Diecast review. Um, now today as you can see we are reviewing um, the a custom Apple Car Lightning McQueen as you can see here. Um, a custom I bought off of eBay from that same seller, Bling Bling uh, 2016. If you go back to my review on this guy right here, you will be able to go visit the link in the description. I might even put the link on the this video if I can uh, remember, um, when I remember how to do it. Um, so yeah, I would be in the link of this video or go back and watch that one, there'll be an iCard up for, for it somewhere. Um, yeah, so we're going to be reviewing this um, Apple Car custom of McQueen today. But as you can see in the background, we have lots of Apple stuff, <laughs> starting uh, from left to right with the black Apple Car, one of my newest purchases along with this uh, Apple McQueen. I've yet to review that, but um, I probably I will do that next. So I'll probably do a poll um, for these customs. Um, so your choice will be the black Apple car, the Apple car crew chief, um, the, I think, who, who else I haven't done, I'm trying to think, it, it'll, it'll be on there, there's at least I think one more car I bought as a custom possibly, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, so it'll be out of these two and maybe another one if I can remember, because I'll probably do the black Apple truck in a, um, in the video with a black Apple car. Um, so yeah, I've got the whole Apple crew back here. Which is very cool. Um, my favourite probably, obviously, probably being the normal Apple Car, but then I'd have to say this is my second favourite. So this, this is why we're doing this review now. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's no ever official Mattel release for this car. Um, it's just, well, it's not even a, a factory custom. It's just, you know, it was just someone thought of the idea, got the decals and made it, or made the decals himself. You never really know. Um, but yeah, it's based on the Cars 2 model of McQueen as you can see here, obviously because we have his spoiler there and all that kind of stuff. Uh, lots of people do have this one, I've seen lots of people all over, like all over the world pretty much have these customs, because obviously they come from China and then people just buy them anyway, so it's not like it comes from one country and that's it, you know, loads of people have them. I'm sure lots of you watching probably have at least one custom bought from somewhere. Or if you don't, you probably can get one easily. Um, but before I take these cars off the back, I'll just show you uh, show you the cars quick that you can vote for. It's the black apple car. It wasn't in the film, I might add. The apple car pickup. Very nice. And I will just show you we have the cab here, which you guys would have seen in the review of this guy. Very nice indeed. <laughs> Alright then, so let's get on to the proper review of this car now as there's not a lot to talk about him really because obviously he's custom and all that. Um, it does look like there's, like you can probably see there's like a line there. It looks like they've put a mouth, a, a, like a bit of metal, a like mouth on it, like sticks out, there's like a square. If I bring this closer, you guys can probably see that there. You can see the line going up and it's like a square, so I don't know what that's really about. You can only really see it there. But it looks like they've just stuck something on him. I'm not too sure what it is. Um, now, I'm obviously <coughs> not a part of the review of the car. But um, here's Steve Jobs. He is, uh, I'm not sure, one of the co-founders. But he, is a, he was the CEO of Apple. And he also um, was the owner of Pixar at one point when he was fired from Apple. Or see before. Well, I don't even know if he was the CEO at that time or not. But as you can see, 1955 to 2011. I'm not sure if he owned Pixar at the time of Cars being released. I'll have to research that when he owned Pixar. He may have even owned it right up until he died. I don't know. Or was maybe at the head. I don't know. Maybe you guys do and you could tell me that down in the comments below. There he is on the side. Um, but yeah, um, as you can see, obviously, at the front, McQueen has this mouth, like I said, which is very peculiar. Let me know what's going on there. He has his two real lights, because obviously you guys know in Cars 2, uh, he got, um, or if you don't know, I suppose you may not have seen it, um, he did get two working headlights, opposed to his um, Cars 1 variant, where he had fake stickers. Um, and obviously in Cars 3, we saw he still kept them lights as well. I'll show you Fabulous Line McQueen there, to contrast and compare. Um, now, as we go into the hood here, we have his um, hood pins. They're not bumps; they're just um, like stickers. There's no actual metal bit they go onto. And here we have the Apple logo. Very nice. It's kind of like a metallic glisten to it. You can also see the outline to his hood as well. 
You can have, you see his eyes here, and you can just barely, if I do that, you might be able to see the line shine over his eyelids. Kind of wish his eyelids were like grey, like the stock car, um, the stock car, um, Apple car. I was about to say next stock car, next gen. That would make no sense because he kind of looks a bit weird. It looks like he's just got eyes, no eyelids. So, but if you if you look carefully, you can see it. Um, we have his normal wheels here, so this is obviously just kept this from the normal one. I actually like on the picture it didn't show the red. I'm really struggling to get this focus. There we go. It didn't show the red, um, but on the actual diecast it does. Obviously it's sponsored by Lightyear Tires. We have Steve Jobs' picture there. I don't know if it will focus that close. Probably not. No, but there you go. You can see there. Steve Jobs, 1955 to 2011. Very cool. Right in there is the, we've got the exhaust there too. As we go up, we've got 95, which is facing this way, which is funny. As you guys know, most racers have it this way. I'll give an example there. We've got Doug Frostleman and Buck Berenley here as well, number 39. And um, this, the next gens have it as well, but they're this way. So it's funny how they've done the number that way, but it's cool, it's different. And you can also see his roof flaps underneath as well. I'm not sure if this is an actual McQueen or if this is a custom mold, because some things do look a bit different. Like them roof flaps, so I don't, mm, I don't know, and I'm sure these lines go long because uh, I'm not too sure. His windows you can kind of see for as well. You can see my finger, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, we have his gas cap here, which is actually in the right place. I think Mattel don't really find very easy to do. You can like run your finger across. Um, we also have his white window slats here with the spoiler, which is very cool. I love how they do like the, the, the sort of the bolts on it as well with a little Apple logo. And on the back is very cool too. It says Apple Incorporated, the 95. That's the only way, um, place we see that World Grand Prix logo. Um, and it's got American flag all in grey. And we have two lights with the Apple logo in front. Uh, I'd, I suppose I'd like to think of this as not as a McQueen as such as an Apple, special Apple racer in the World Grand Prix. This is what I would use it for personally. Maybe I'll use it in one of my um, Radio Spring Stories episodes. But um, yeah, maybe comment it about down below if you think that's a good idea. I think that'd be quite um, <coughs> cool to do. Uh, we, we have his gas cap on the other side as well. Yeah, I don't think I've actually noticed that before. That actually makes no sense. So you have two, but okay. And once again, we have the Steve Jobs logo. Not put all the way on the end there because I can't see any in white. Oh, well. And you have his wheels as well. This side's a bit more straight and perfected than this side, but that doesn't matter. Uh, as we go on to the base, we have... Disney Pixar made in China, or it's got nothing to do with it. This here, which I'm sure wasn't on the original model. We have its diffusers at the back here, its exhausts. But no, it's a very cool die cast. Uh, very cool indeed. I have, um, I have, uh, I'm just trying to think of the word. It's very, they're very good at what they do, these custom makers. So um, I could sort of, I could applaud you for your work, whoever you are out there. I don't know if the seller is the person who makes the customs. People like Jim Scavenger, he, he sells them and he also makes them. So I don't know if they make them themselves or they buy them off of someone they know or just uh, just that randomly, I mean, never know. Um, but yeah, the seller is, is really great. I would recommend buying off of them. I've got quite a few cars from them now. All of them have been customs, um, but apart from, yeah, but just pretty much it's just a good seller to be honest. I don't really know what I have to say about them. So I'll probably find the link in this video somewhere. It's put at the top, and uh, also if you're still oh okay <laughs> if you're still watching, I know I haven't been doing many normal reviews recently. The channel's kind of been a bit mixed match, but I think you guys have still been enjoying the content anyway. At least I hope you have. I've gone up three subscribers, I think, in two days, which is very cool. It went up to 220 and then just shot up by three in the matter of like a day or two day and a bit. So thank you guys for that. Um, also, I'd like you to comment if you're new as well. I'd like to see who's recently joined because I know quite f uh, like a few of my people, but not everyone. So just comment who who that like, if you've just joined or or how long you've been subscribed for or something, just so I can say hi. And to v if you visit the live streams, that's a good way to interact as well. Some of my uh, viewers um, we um, go on the live streams a lot. I know them the best. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this review on um, the Apple Car Lightning McQueen Custom. I hope you all did enjoy. And um, that's pretty much it for the video. As always guys, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so you never miss another review. As always, I'll see you in the next review guys.